Dragon of Ice Spire Peak. Circle of Thunder. Circle of Thunder is balanced for characters of 6th level, though characters of 4th or 5th level can weather its challenges if they are cautious. No quest leads the party to this location. However, characters who brave the Dragon Barrow might come here with Xanth the Centaur, while those who raid the Woodland Manse might be led here by Granok's map. In the aftermath of the counterattack on Falcon's Hunting Lodge, as described in Counterattack, characters can follow Gorthok's trail back to the Circle of Thunder, where that creature was summoned. Location Overview The reclusive anchorites of the Circle of Thunder gather on this hill to make sacrifices to Talos, the Storm God. In stormy weather, the anchorites also perform rituals to summon Gorthok the Thunderball, a destructive force they can unleash against their enemies. A circle of standing stones atop a hill helps to focus the anchorites' magic to make the summoning of Gorthok possible. Three anchorites, Flens, Narux, and Yargath, defend the hill. When not performing rituals in the circle of standing stones, they patrol the surrounding woods, forage for food, and lurk in caves dug out of the hillside. When the characters arrive, the anchorites are gathered on the hilltop. If Gorthok has not been summoned yet, the anchorites are in the midst of summoning the great boar, otherwise they are conjuring a storm. Cave Descriptions Three caves are set beneath the hilltop, each serving as the lair of an anchorite of Talos. The caves are dug out of the earth, with each cave mouth braced by two rectangular stone slabs, topped with a heavy lintel stone. All the caves have seven-foot-high ceilings and crude wooden gates for doors. Each cave features a different layout, but has similar contents. Area A, Entryway. Situated in the middle of this intersection, facing the cave mouth, the skull of a boar rests atop a pile of humanoid and animal bones. A character who succeeds on a DC-10 intelligence religion check can ascertain that the bones are a warning to stay away. Area B, Boar Pen. The gate to this room is lashed shut with a rope. It holds a boar that is the anchorite's companion and garbage disposal. The boar can't harm anyone while trapped in this room. If the gate is opened by anyone other than an anchorite of Talos, the boar tries to flee the cave, attacking anyone in its path. Area C, Cell. The gate to this cell is lashed shut with rope. The cell is used to hold animals doomed to be sacrificed in rituals to Talos. There's a 25% chance that a harmless deer is trapped inside. Otherwise, the cell is empty. Area D, Anchorite's Retreat. This unfinished room serves as the Anchorite's quarters. Niches in the wall hold clay dishware, wooden utensils, gathered berries, bundled herbs, and creepy totems. In Area C2 and Area C3, the Anchorites have hidden treasure buried under the earthen floor in a random five-foot square. See those areas for details of the treasure. Area E, Secret Exit. This tunnel slopes up a secret trap door that is plainly visible from the underside. Travel to the Circle. Characters traveling to the Circle of Thunder have the following two encounters en route. Tree Trap. This encounter can occur anywhere in the Neverwinter Wood. Set the scene by describing the following. You come upon a 60-foot wide forest clearing, in the middle of which is a black, needle-like spire, a 40-foot tall pine tree ravaged by fire long ago, its limbs burned off. Tied to the dead tree near its base are several ghastly dolls made of twigs bound with black hair. Ten twig dolls are bound to the charred tree, all within easy reach. A detect magic spell reveals an aura of transmutation emanating from the tree and the ground in a 60-foot radius around it. Close examination of a twig doll reveals something wrapped inside it. By breaking a doll apart, characters can see that it contains a still-beating pig's heart. Any damage to a heart kills it and causes the tree's root to magically animate and erupt from the ground. When the constricting roots erupt, each creature standing in the clearing 
must succeed on a DC-12 dexterity saving throw or take 5 or 2d4 bludgeoning damage and be restrained. The creature takes this damage again at the start of each of its turns until it escapes. A creature can use an action to free itself or another creature within its reach with a successful DC-15 strength athletics check or by dealing 5 or more slashing damage against a root with a single melee weapon attack. The roots have an armor class of 13 and immunity to all damage except slashing. Yargath's Patrol As they move through the forest, the characters are beset by Yargath, an anchorite of Talos, and a band of orcs, two orcs per character in the party, including sidekicks. Set the scene as follows. As you make your way across the uneven ground rising to a ridge, several hulking orcs ascend a similar ridge across from you, separated from you by a 60 foot wide, 10 foot deep gully. The orcs unleash terrible battle cries as they are joined by a humanoid with elongated claws. On the first round of combat, Yagath casts Bless on up to three orcs. Meanwhile, the orcs charge across the ravine and close to melee range. Treasure. Yargath carries a potion of greater healing. If the characters acquire this potion, give the players the potion of greater healing card, or they can reference it in the magic items listing. Arrival. Characters coming from the Woodland Manse approach the Circle of Thunder from the south. Describe the location to the players as follows. Ominous storm clouds gather in the sky as you approach a 90-foot tall hill with trees spreading across its slopes. Atop the hill is a large ring of standing stones. Two ghastly figures dance within this hedge, surrounded by a number of smaller capering creatures. The standing stones and the dancing figures are described in Area C1. Characters who circle the hill before climbing it spot three caves Area C2, Area C3, and Area C4, near the hilltop. Circle of Thunder Tree Locations The following locations are key to the map of the Circle of Thunder. Area C1, Henge Atop the hill is a ring of eight upright stone structures, each one consisting of two ten-foot-high vertical stone slabs spaced five feet apart and topped with three-foot-thick flat lintel stones. These uprights can be toppled by creatures with a combined strength score of 80 or higher. In the middle of the circle, two humanoid figures dance around a deer carcass, each wearing the rotting head of a boar as a mask. These foes are Flens and Narix, two anchorites of Talos. They are joined by frolicking twig blights, two blights for each character in the party including sidekicks. Flens and Narux are either performing a ritual to summon Gorthok the Thunderbore, or they are making a sacrifice to appease Talos and call forth a storm. If the characters have not yet defeated Gorthok, the boar arrives once both anchorites are dead, appearing out of nowhere in the middle of the circle with a thunderclap. Gorthok fights to the death. Secret Trap Doors any character who searches the hilltop and succeeds on a DC-10 Wisdom Perception check finds one of three flimsy wooden trap doors hidden under grass and dirt. Below these trap doors are tunnels leading to areas C2, C3, and C4. Area C2, Northwest Cave Carved into the lintel stone above the cave mouth is a picture of a boar chasing after a stick figure humanoid. Treasure Flens hides a potion of invulnerability in his quarters, buried in a random square beneath the floor. If the characters obtain the potion, give the players the potion of invulnerability card, or they can reference it in the magic items listing. Area C3, Northeast Cave The lintel stone above the mouth of this cave is bare. Treasure Narix hides a plus one shield in his quarters, buried beneath the floor. If the characters obtain and identify it, give the players the plus one shield card or they can reference it in the magic items listing. Area C4, Southeast Cave. Carved into the lintel stone above the mouth of this cave is a pictograph depicting three stick figure humanoids being struck by lightning. Yagath keeps no treasure here. <laughs>